hello students myself akta islam and welcome to the first lecture of the poem wind that is prescribed for class 9 from the books of bihai so wind is very interesting poem and before starting the poem i am going to explain something about the poet actually in this poem you will get two poet one is subramanya bharti and the other is ak ramanujan why here two poets you know actually this poem was written in tamil language the first version of the poem is tamil language and in tamil language it was written by subramanya bharti after that this poem the tamil version was translated into english by ak ramanujan okay now about subramanya bharti actually his full name is china swami subramanya bharti and he was born in 1882 and died in 1921 actually he is a tamil poet journalist indian independence activist and of course a social reformer okay and he is called a pioneer he is called a pioneer of modern tamil poetry and one of the greatest tamil literary figures it means he is the first poet in the literature of tamil nadu and he he, he introduce the modern theme in the poems of tamil language okay and that's why he became one of the greatest tamil literary figures in his day his patriotism you will get when you will read the poem when you will read the poems of subramanya bharti though he came of an orthodox brahmin family he was strictly against caste system and in hinduism actually he belongs to orthodox brahmin family he is come of a brahmin family but he was strictly against caste system in hinduism and the fifth point is he strongly advocated bringing the dalits to the hindu ministry you know dalits are always exploited and he is the first poet from tamil nadu tries to give their justice to the society okay now we are coming to the second poet ak ramanujan okay actually ak ramanujan his full name is ati pate a double t i p a t e krishna swami ramanujan and he was born in 1929 and died in 1993 okay and he was a poet scholar professor okay and a philologist folklorist translator and of course of playwright playwright means a person who is writing a play writing a drama it's called playwright translator a person who is translating a novel a drama or a poem from one language to other language is called translator folklorist a person who is writing about folk story or folk tales okay and philologist the meaning of the word philologist the pronunciation the uh, you know syntax and uh, about the structure of a word about the structure of language is called philologist a person who is teaching us the structure of a language the pronunciation of a language it's called philologist okay after that he wrote basically in english and in kannada actually in both the languages in english and kannada he wrote the poems okay but he translated the literature of tamil the literature of telugu the literature of sanskrit 
into english okay and very now the very important point he was very talented of course and was awarded the sahitya academy award for the collected poems in 1999 posthumously actually the meaning of the word posthumously after his death when a person after his death uh, will be awarded okay that is called posthumous or something will be happened after after the death of someone it's called posthumously so he got sahitya academy award for his collected poems in 1999 first of all you should know what is sahitya academy award actually it's a very prestigious award and you know uh which is which is given to the poets and novelists in india i have written something it is very literary it is a literary honor in india which is given to the most outstanding books of literary merit published in any of the major indian languages total 24 languages okay so this is all about the poets now i am moving to the poem and i have written some points i think these points will be very important to understand the poem wind actually you know the wind is a natural phenomenon okay it's a natural phenomenon this poem is a symbolic poem first of all and uh, through this poem the poet is trying to say that the poem inspires us to face the challenges and hardships of life with courage and firm determination okay we should be strong in mind and body unless we fight with our hardship we cannot expect success it is very natural to get problems and challenges in the paths of success you must overcome this situation there are two types of person in this world one is strong and the other is weak the strong can overcome any obstacles in their life in his or her life and hardship but the weak easily break down okay this is the main uh, you know main meaning the 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 inner meaning of the poem okay but the outer meaning of the poem is that in this poem the poet describes the action of the wind it breaks the shutters of the window throws down the books on the shelf and demolishes the weak houses but it has no effect on strong houses okay it blows out weak fires but it makes the strong fire roar and stronger have you understood the wind the wind is acting both as a destroyer and as a preserver in this poem the wind is presented as four different facets you know a naughty child okay a naughty child a raging and a destructive youth destructive youth and a very helpful friend and a powerful god okay at last we may say that the wind causes a lot of destruction but it can be a good friend of us okay this is the outer meaning of the poem ye bahar ka meaning hai lekin andar ka meaning ye hai okay in my next class i, I will discuss the poems through line by line and after that i will discuss 
the literary device that is used in this poem okay thank you